All right, I wish I had filmed more while I was doing it, but you can see the trailer on the left side. We've got the old with rustiness and gross, and uh, it's been painted. It looks like it's been painted like three times. This is a 1986, so it's uh, 36 years old. And um, there's the new we just painted today. Also painted these poles, changed the caps on them, so a little bit nicer looking. Um, so the whole point of this channel is to do things good enough. Not to do them perfect, but to do them good enough. And um, I'm kind of a perfectionist in some ways, but uh, I find that I don't like taking the time to do everything absolutely perfectly. And sometimes things just don't work out that way. So we don't keep the boat on the water all the time. So getting access to the trailer without the boat on it is really hard. Um, we could jack it up and work the trailer out from under it, but we didn't bother and I wanted to have the trailer looking a little bit nicer so we took the bunks the carpet off there the boards and carpet off there they're all rotten and gross and uh, sanded it down a little bit and it looks good enough to me there's some spots in there that a little bit of rust that we'll clean up but overall I mean we'll see how long it lasts but the whole point here is to do things good enough and uh, sorry helicopter going over there Um, okay, anyways, we also, um, we took this jack off here, I think it's the original jack, we repainted it, I even, uh, we even masked around the old logo and, and repainted it with this kind of like, I don't know, sparkly paint, it looks pretty good, painted the base down there, uh, took the, took the hydraulic brakes off, they were worthless, there was just water inside of the brake, um, cylinder, so it wasn't doing anything, so we took all that apart, and I welded the bottom here where this slides. This would normally slide in and uh, and put pressure on that valve, which then activates the hydraulic brakes. So we took all that off. They weren't doing anything. Eventually, I'll put electric like brakes on the back. We wired it up, wired up with a little Amazon uh, junction box here to have a nice big um, seven prong adapter there. Um, painted everything. It's not perfect. A little bit of rust coming through, but. It's holding up pretty good. Um, and then one other cool thing, you can see this handle here. These two handles here are exactly the same. So I turn them together, they're exactly the same. And that is because this one came off of the old uh, ratchet we have. This is a very strange setup with the Mastercraft. So this post ho hooks over the, the eyelet here. And that's what holds your boat in place. Then you just clamp this on. But one thing I've noticed is you have to back the boat so far into the water, or the trailer so far into the water to get it in, that once you hook this in, if you tighten the clamp, the boat is actually up. And when you drive out, it leverages down and puts a ton of pressure. I mean, to the point where I've, I broke the teeth on this. So that's like, that's like a couple hundred pounds of pressure um, on that strap. So anyways, long story short, we took... The handle off the old one and we put it on this one because it didn't have a handle so we rebuilt this got the uh, got the old thing off it was the handle was gone and so it just had two washers on it so we took that off and then we had to drill this out with a step bit so it fit in there slid that in and it spins good enough got a little you know clamp um, nut on the end of it and it's great it looks the same works good it seems to be good so Another thing that's good enough. Um, all right, so the one thing we were not able to do that I really wish we could do is fix these bunks. They are just hanging in there. I mean, they aren't doing anything. I don't know what's broken inside there, but they're rotten and they're not doing anything. So we just leave them. I need to get the boat out of the water, or boat in the water long enough that I can figure out a way to fix that. Um, I'm noticing there's like a residue all over this, and I don't know what it is. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. Um, see the fender back here's had a lot of damage on it, so it's not perfect, but again, with the paint, it's pretty good. We had a hard time masking off the carpet. I found that the old school, um, the old school tan masking tape will stick to almost anything. It, that's a problem when you're working on a wall, like drywall, but it's great when you're working on carpet or something. So there it is. A good enough trailer restoration. Um, 
to make the boat look good, matches the polishing job we did in the boat. I'm going to put a Mastercraft sticker there and kind of looks new from 20 feet, which is good enough.